very recently, I was interviewed by a publication that deals with, uh, you know, beautifying the home, interior design. And they asked me a very interesting question that I thought, you know, I was going to share my answer with all of you guys. Now, the question they asked me was, if somebody is moving to a new home, how useful or crucial is astrology? Now, it seems that uh, a, there's a misconception. A lot of people think that, oh, you know, if you're moving to a new home, then maybe astrology can share a lot in terms of like, what's a good time to move? Or is there like an auspicious, uh, you know, moment in that sense? Uh, and I'll tell, give, give you a clear, short answer. It's like, not, not really, actually. You know, if you're moving house, and especially if you're doing it in a, in a city where it's not cheap, you know, there's a lot of expenditure. The truth is, frankly, move when it is comfortable, move when it is practical, uh, and don't let astrology be, be the main factor here, okay? But, okay, now, can astrology assist in that sense? So let me share maybe a couple of things that could make a, a difference, okay, to, to people uh, astrologically if they're moving house. Now, I want you to consider that when somebody moves house, it is not just a simple thing as moving from point A to point B. Because very often, moving house also involves a very major milestone in your life. So for example, you could be getting married. You could be moving house because you're expecting a new child. Sometimes people end up moving houses or switching residences because they've lost a family member. Or perhaps there are some other very major changes in your life, loss of job, so on and so forth. Or you have a new job, that's why you're moving. So it's, um, sometimes astrology is a little bit more useful in addressing the stress behind moving house. Uh, and very often, the stress is not about the house itself. It could be maybe having a good talk with your astrologer about the financial constraints or, or how your, your lifestyle is going to change now that your livelihood situation has, has you know, undergone some changes there. Now, and I think the second thing that astrology can really assist at is that everybody, each person, has a different idea of what a comfortable home is. Now, if you flip through any interior design magazine or maybe an app or a website, the first thing you're going to notice is that there are so many different styles. I mean, if you look at something that's like an industrial style or you look at a Victorian style, farmhouse style, on one hand, it's an aesthetic. Of course, everybody has got a different view of which colour is the nicest or, you know, what, what's most comfortable. But uh, what I'm going to suggest here is that the kind of styles that you prefer actually speak volumes about the type of person that you are. So if you consider like somebody who likes, say, the industrial style, it's much likely to be like a very bare bones utilitarian. I don't like like lace and frills and all that stuff. So it actually tells you something about the person who likes industrial. And then there's the type of person who wants like, a bit of luxury, shiny surfaces, uh, a lot of cubby holes to sort of like display uh, your, your treasures and your awards from, from here and there. So it, again, it says something about the type of personality. So where astrology can be a bit more interesting is when you have more than one person living in a home. And let's just say if you actually were sitting down with a designer uh, to discuss what, what kind of you know, setup you like your house to be, Sometimes it's very interesting to note that each person in your family, all with different astrology charts, actually describe a very different approach uh, to, to, to not just design, I think, but also um, their idea of what a comfortable home comprises of. Some people want it to be a party space. Some people want it to be a quiet space where I can enjoy a glass of wine and a book, for example. So if you happen uh, to be interested, right, so some of the planets that and, and components in the chart that you might want to look at are things like the moon. The moon describes uh, your definition of the home, what's comfortable for you. Sometimes planets in the fourth house give some good clues as to the kind of environment that you like. Now, if you happen to be involved in the design and the aesthetics of your home, then uh, you'll find that the sign of Venus can also give some good clues as to what you find attractive and what you find unattractive. Okay, so this was a bit of a fun video uh, and, and perhaps a very interesting use of astrology that may not have uh, occurred to you before. And frankly, it didn't occur to me either until a magazine came to ask me about it. Okay, so I thought this was interesting and uh, for more of these astrology and life kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next video.